Good evening, warriors. It's Lisa Wolf here, and today is um, Transparent Tuesday. <laughs> Almost forgot what day it was, but um, today um, my son and I were doing homeschool, and um, the question was, "Does God give second chances?" And it it, it was kind of interesting. And lately, I've been learning about grace. And and you're like, why? how does grace go with this? And the scripture that went with it was um, Ephesians, um, Ephesians chapter 2. Sorry, I'm having a hard time today. Um, 8 through 9. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. Um, the scripture, Ephesians chapter 2, 8 through 9. And... It got to me because the last few weeks I've been trying to figure out like he's placed faith on my heart he's placed grace on my heart and he's like baby girl you can't earn my love and no matter what you do yes I forgive you and um, giving someone a second chance is um, not by accident it just um, that's the definition it's it's not by um, it's by accident it's by accident and there's no plan and God does not because the question was a true or false question and the question is the answer is false God does not give people second chances what God gives is grace God gives grace because of our faith our faith and this is why he's been um, just giving just giving me these words and these definitions and what grace truly is is that you just like how, how do, it, it's like he forgives and he loves grace is love love is grace unconditional love like there's no agenda behind it there's no, like yeah i saw you screw up but i still love you i truly do love you but you know there are consequences to every choice and so today i made choices especially during this journey based on faith and grace because I, I want to like take full opportunity and this was even though it, it's a I can say oh it just happened but it was planned from the beginning you know COVID was planned from the beginning and that's the sad part but it, it was something out of our control but it's up to us how we handle that situation and also the Lord wants to say, um, don't have such a strong cutoff game. I see a lot of people, I know people aren't going to like this, but um, there's a difference between letting go and moving on from just cutting someone off because they hurt you. It really is and you have to have grace to extend to these people because you may be their only hope of um, of Jesus and seeing Jesus yes that's the truth you know it's all grace it's not about second chances it's grace and Jesus died on the cross not for us to have a second chance. It was all planned. He did that because he loves us. He loves us and he has grace for us. It's all about grace. It's all about grace. And I had to learn what that was because I've never experienced grace until the, the last like five or six years. I didn't know what grace was. Not at all. Not at all. I always thought love had an agenda or um, I had to do, I had to earn love. 
or I had to convince someone to love me and I know now that's not true that's not true and I just want to say um, I hope you guys have a blessed day he gives us grace he gives us grace and that's why we are able to change and the thing is is that he does it so like peaceful and just so caring and loving like hey you're about to mess up why'd you make this choice like he doesn't condemn us like he just um you know by god's grace that you have to change and changing is not really hard it's actually simple it is really simple to give him your heart and soul because he created it he already knows he already knows but i hope you guys have a blessed day